Hello, this is Dr. Robert Caridi, and I'm going to demonstrate the four-step process that is used for non-skin removal of gynecomastia in my paper. This patient has zone one gynecomastia up front. He has uh, puffy nipples. He's had uh, widened areolas, and I can clearly feel a well demarcated region of gynecomastia tissue, which is uh, the norm. Step one is essentially making a small stab incision in the axillary hair bearing region and using an infiltration cannula to infiltrate the tissue in the area of treatment. For those people who have rather dense tissue, it could be a challenge to move this cannula through. If not, then it's important to get underneath and around the specimen. Step two is the use of the ultrasonic liposuction system. In this case, this is a vaser system. And through the tiny stab incision, I put a skin protector and I will use the vaser system to circumscribe the area of gynecomastia. If I'm going to treat extra areas, lateral, in particular, that are really not gynecomastia tissue, I don't use the vaser system. So the vaser system I just use up front for the actual gynecomastia tissue. The end point to treat this gynecomastia with the vaser system is determined by the time of the application of the vaser, as well as the loss of resistance as I circumscribe the gynecomastia tissue. Step three is the use of traditional vacuum assisted liposuction to remove the effluence resulting from the vaser treatment. Step four is the removal of the gynecomastia tissue that remains through a partial periareolar incision at the bottom of the areolar border. You'll notice that the electrosurgery device is not necessary with this technique because the hemostasis is evident after the treatment of the tissue with the vaser system. It's a top-down approach, removing all the tissue from the subareolar region posteriorly. I'm working to remove the gynecomastia tissue. I use my scissor and finger dissection. Complete gynecomastia removal, you can see it uh, conforms to the black marking that I had marked earlier. And it's uh, fibroglandular, a lot of glandular tissue here, obviously. This is the underside that was stuck to the prepectoral fascia. Complete removal. There is nothing below the areola now. That's just dermis. Any residual tissue is removed. And what you can appreciate here is the exposure of the muscle here and the defect that's created. This is the pectoralis major border right through here. And I'm going to use the internal flap now to reconstitute a layer of tissue so that there's no depression here at the nipple or complex. And the purpose of the flap is to reconstitute a layer of normal subcutaneous tissue so there's no adherence of the overlying skin to the underlying muscle and fascia. This is a simple suture. This is a vicral suture. And what I hope you can appreciate with this video 
is that this area is no longer depressed. This nipple is flat. Nipple areolar complex is completely flat. It is supported by this layer of underlying tissue. This is not gynecomastia tissue. This is just subcutaneous tissue.